what up you guys just a just a got beats here and today i'm gonna show you how i did this nowadays remake um it's a little skies you know nowadays i'm sure you guys know it i'm sitting in the garage right now because everybody's sleeping it's barely five o'clock in the morning here got my cup of coffee auntie loves cats what can i say so let's get to this beat Alright, so first things first, um, not always, but a lot of times when you're making trap beats, it helps if you go into the minor chord, so change the key, so I'm in an F minor chord right now, got the BPM at 160, that's first and foremost, and now let's get to all the sounds. The first thing I did, I started with a sweet bell, I have a classic brand in there, I have a sound called harmonic taps, and then um, blue air, those are the sounds that I use um, for the melody and the counter melody. I started the sweet bell off in a uh, B and went up, basic, simple. I'll show you all the keys and stuff like that. Next, I moved on to the classic grand. I started that in the F note, created some chords for that, and created that, you know, that same sound that they had in the nowadays um, beat. All of the um, sounds are similar. I'm not gonna say they're exactly like that, but I'm sure that that beat was made in FL Studio. I'm making this one in GarageBand, but you can see where I'm going with this. It sounds pretty much the same, with the exception of the drums, which I changed up a little bit, because I just didn't want everything to be exactly exactly. I just wanted to show you guys an example of how to remake a beat if that's what you're going for. All right, so for the harmonic taps, it goes right along with the uh, piano. I uh, started that one in a lower chord. I believe I started that in the F sharp chord. Um, or you can start in the D chord, either either or, but like I said, I'm just trying to keep it like this melody because somebody asked me to do this video. I guess they wanted to learn how to make this track. So that's what I did for that. And then um, we're gonna move on to the blue air sound. And then I also have like another sound that I did that's like the little uh, guitar sound that Landon Cube did in there. For the blue air sound, it's kind of that airy sound that comes in on the nowadays track. So what I did was that I didn't make it exactly like the uh, piano and the harmonic taps. I took a lot of the notes out because I just wanted to create that layer, but that still have the airiness. So I used the blue air. I believe it's a pad inside of uh, GarageBand iOS. So all this is being made on the iPhone. All right, next to create that little twang, that little um, guitar that Landon Cube put in certain parts of the song, um, I used Bandura Dreams, which is like another guitar sound, a string sound inside of there. Because that, y'all know what I'm talking about inside of there. So that's pretty much it for all the instruments, not including the drums. So now we're going to go to the drums. For the drums, I pretty much clap, kick, snare. I use a different kind of um, clap. It's kind of like a psh, it's a longer clap than usual uh, to create more depth in the um, sound, but it's a bit very, very basic drum beat that I used um, because it's pretty much basic inside of the nowadays track as well. So without further ado, we're gonna go on to the 808s, which I tried to keep similar to the rhythm so it goes along with the instrumentation with the melodies and stuff like that so let's check that out all right so with the 808 i just tried to keep it simple enough to go along with the melody so it fit in with the rest of the beat um there's really not much to it a lot of ups and downs i believe i started in the f sharp went up to a C sharp, back down to the F sharp. I wanna say that I went to 
a B, I believe, but it, don't quote me on that because I'm doing the video separate from making this because, like I said, I already made the beat. I just wanted to show you guys the steps and how you guys can be successful in doing remakes, you know, um, and that's pretty much it. We're going to get to the beat. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So I just want to put a little side note in here for any aspiring producers and stuff like that. As you guys can see, um, I'm still ramping up my YouTube channel. Uh, trying to be consistent and be successful stuff. I am selling beats here and there. I am working with MBG out in uh, Los Angeles, working with a few other artists around the world and stuff like that. So I'm by no names, big name or anything like that. But just want to let you guys know, don't ever give up. You know what I'm saying? Like my beats were horrible. I'm going to find some of these old beats that I used to make like back in the day. They were fucking horrible, you know, so I've come a long way in being able to do this and also a key thing key element to being a producer i don't care who you are learn how to play the piano learn your chords that'll help you out tremendously you know and then i swear things will just start popping up inside of your head it's crazy so without that you know that foundation just learn the fundamentals you know what i'm saying a beat making of whatever kind of beat you're trying to make but also be different Try to add your own sounds in there, create your own sound, because I think that that's another key to separating yourself from everybody else. And, you know, that's enough of me talking. We're going to get to this beat. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day.